from Britain. I'm in sales with BCS. I've been at J.B. Hunt since March after several years of pastoral ministry. Excited to be here. I joined Toastmasters at the coercion of Tony, Jose, <laughs> and my boss, Brian Webb. So when Brian Webb said you should probably join this, I joined it. And I really enjoy it. I'm here because I love to invest in people. I love watching them grow and learn, develop personally and professionally. And I hope at some point to do some life coaching. And I'm seeing Toastmasters as a stepping stone to accomplishing that goal. Now today, I want to talk to you about my favorite animal. And I figured since I was 44, it was time to land the plane on that question in life. Because we all love that question when we were kids. What's your favorite animal, right? Well, my favorite animal is the American bison, the buffalo. It's a very hibernal creature. <laughs> and it's my favorite animal. And a couple weeks ago, I was at Hobby Lobby with my 12-year-old son because that's what you do when you're a dad. You go to Hobby Lobby with your 12-year-old son. <laughs> And we were buying supplies for a school project or something of that nature, and I saw this toy buffalo. This one right here. I bought it. Put it on my desk. We got in the car, and I'm sure my son asked me in a very embarrassing kind of way, Dad, why'd you buy that? Well, I like the American buffalo. It's my favorite animal. Well, why is it your favorite animal? And the answers that I gave to him are going to be my talking points for this morning. And I hope that as it was a challenge to him growing up as a young man, that each and every one of us find today to be a challenge, and we desire to grow deeper and stronger so that we may have a greater impact on those around us, our friends, our families, and our coworkers. The first characteristic that I learned from the buffalo is its strength. It's an incredibly strong animal. It has the physical ability to withstand extreme winters, extreme summers, and to fend off and defend the herd from, its, from attacks from its natural predator, the wolf. Every day we wake up and life comes at us different. We never know what day is going to hold. Sometimes Monday may feel like an extreme blizzard or extreme heat, and Wednesday we feel like we're getting attacked by a pack of wolves, right? That's how the week goes. You know, however you develop that physical strength to withstand the week, let's do it. Be it exercise and diet, maybe it's something along the lines of, hey, I'm going to make this one of going to bed 30 minutes early so we don't walk into the office physically exhausted. However you do it, make it a discipline. Let's make it a discipline to become physically strong so that we can lead our families well, so that we can do our jobs well. But it's not just about the physical. It's about the mental, because the mental really makes the physical better. And that's why I like the buffalo, because he's resilient. He's a resilient animal. Uh, resiliency is the mental fortitude that puts the physical into motion. It is the ability to think and process and not panic. It's the ability to adapt and to overcome. <coughs> It's the ability to look at a problem and not walk in defeat when we face that problem or difficulty. In the bison, the buffalo, we call it, oh, that's his instinct. Well, what a great character quality to develop, right? Our instinct. So that when life comes at us hard and fast, it's our instinct to stand up and say, not today. And to not let whatever that is get into our head. And to remain mentally strong, to develop our instinct when trouble comes, when hard times come. Strength and resiliency really lead me to develop my last point on this. And why I really, really love the buffalo is that the buffalo is absolutely completely useful. See, the American Indians that hunted the buffalo on the plain, they wasted nothing. They used every part of this animal. And isn't that how we want to be? Completely useful and not wasting our moments? But the buffalo didn't also become useful to the American Indian, became useful to even the smallest guys on the plain, and that's like the prairie dogs. Because, see, the prairie dogs love to build their burrows and their tunnels where the grass is low, because that's where the buffalo herd previously grazed, and they can stand up on their mounds and take a look out over the horizon as they protect the pack from the predators. It's completely, absolutely useful. I, myself, would love to be the kind of person that is so useful that I protect, I provide, and I put others in a position to Strength, resiliency, and completely useful. There's your personal growth plan for 2019. Woo. Mm -hmm. Listen, as we wrap this up, I want to ask you and challenge all of us, hey, let's work hard and stay focused. 
and not waste each moment that we've been given every day. Thank you for letting me be here today. Yeah.